Chapter 5 When Sinbad comes out from under the ground, he meets some sailors. I'm Sinbad the Sailor, he tells them. The sailors are surprised. Sinbad? But Sinbad is dead, they say. Well, I'm not dead now, Sinbad says. And I want to meet your captain. The sailors take Sinbad to their ship. Are you Sinbad the sailor? Asks the captain. Yes, says Sinbad. Then sail with us and tell us about your adventures, says the captain. The ship sails for many weeks. One morning, the captain sees an island. Sinbad and some of the sailors land and begin to explore the island. The sailors find a very big bird's egg. Don't touch it, says Sinbad. It's a rock's egg. But the sailors throw stones at the egg. The egg breaks open, and a big, fat, young rock comes out. It makes a lot of noise. Suddenly, four angry rocks fly down. Let's go back to the ship, says Sinbad. The rocks begin to attack the ship with big stones. We must sail away now, cries the captain. The ship sails into a bad storm, and Sinbad lands in the sea. After many hours in the water, he climbs onto some big stones near a beach. Sinbad begins to explore. There are big black stones all around the beach, and a big cave with a river in it. He finds the wrecks of old ships and hundreds of jewels on the beach. More jewels, says Sinbad, and he puts some of the beautiful stones in his bag. Soon, he begins to feel hungry. There are lots of jewels here, he thinks. But there's nothing to eat. I must look for something. But where? Sinbad takes wood from the wrecks and makes a boat from it. He puts the boat on the river in the cave and gets on it. He rows for days through the dark cave. He feels more and more hungry every day. After six days, he's very ill and tired. But then, he sees some blue sky. He can also see Two strange men. Welcome to the country of Serendib, they say. Please give me something to eat, cries Sinbad. The men give Sinbad lots of different things, and he eats for hours. You're a lucky man say the men. Come with us to see our king. Sinbad gives some of the jewels to the king. He also tells him about the most important man in Baghdad, the caliph. 
Your caliph is a very good and wise man, says the king. Here are some presents for him. The king finds a big ship for Sinbad, and he gives him lots of presents too. Sinbad sails back to Baghdad. On the ship, he thinks about his adventure in the cave. This time, I want to stay at home in Baghdad. He thinks. When Sinbad gives the presents to the caliph of Baghdad, the caliph says, "I have some beautiful carpets for this wise king of Serendib. Please take them to him." Oh no! Thinks Sinbad. Back to sea again.